At her studio in Clitheroe, former Army helicopter pilot Rosie Dummer's next commission is one very close to her heart. I'm working on a cake that is going to Derby University for a special event on Armed Forces Day. I wanted this design to have a really broad appeal. So like the teddy bear mascots that they often see in uniform, I'm going to do three teddy bear cakes, one for the Army, one Navy, and one for the Air Force. With the base support for the cakes already made... So that's going to be one teddy and that's, that's the head going on the top. So this is the way I'm seeing it. Rosie gets to work on the flag. And just trying to replicate the folds of fabric. So underneath my layer, I'm going to put some of these. Fondant folds in place. She rolls out a thinner sheet of icing and lays it on top to form the flag. Once everything's smoothed out, Rosie starts adding colour with edible paint. And I'm going to go over this with um, airbrush, so this is just mapping it out. Next, with the base coats done, she airbrushes with food-safe colouring. Phew. It's going to work. Which is just as well, because I didn't have a plan B. Back in Clitheroe, Rosie started to build the trio of cake bears for her Armed Forces Day cake. I'm just going to put some cake layers onto my board and the idea is that I can then take this once it's done and slot it down onto my board. Go feed an army. After a layer of ganache, she starts on the bear's legs, formed from the body's offcuts. Just doing massive cake pops for the feet. So I'm just going to put these in the freezer. So they're going to go solid, which means that I'll have that shape and I can work on it. Next, Rosie moves on to the rice cereal and marshmallow mix arms. All I've got is a board and underneath I've got a wire as a frame, which means that I can um, manipulate it to stand out and it will hold its shape. This means that I'll be able to pop this on with the head and hopefully I can get the shape I want and it will be stable. A quick coat of ganache, and Rosie can start covering her bear's body in fondant. The next morning, Rosie has almost finished her first bear's head, and having covered it in more white fondant, she can finally start adding fur detailing using a modelling tool. This is going to be the sailor, this one. So he needs to be ship-shape and Bristol fashion. And once she's applied a navy blue fondant uniform... The seaman has got to be properly dressed. I think it's just easier with an iron than it is with a cake tool. Rosie can bring her sailor bear to life with her trusty airbrush. I'm finally getting some colour on, so I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But with two bears to finish, she still has lots to do. In Clitheroe, Rosie has finished her military bear cakes. This one's tested me. It really has. It's tested me. But it's done. It's taken Rosie four days to create this two and a half feet wide trio of teddy bear cakes. Hand carved from 11 kilos of chocolate cake and covered in 25 kilos of fondant, the bears took 20 hours to dress in detailed uniforms and they all sit resplendent on an edible Union flag.